Iran is making significant advancements in the field of nuclear technology. Only last year they started working on the first phase of the construction of a new nuclear power plant. It is completed today and they are beginning the second phase of the plant. The Atomic Energy Organization of Iran EOI has announced the completion of the initial phase of a new power plant in the southern province of Khuzestan. On Friday, Mohammad Islami stated that the main facility of the power plant is currently under construction in the city of Darkhavain. He mentioned that the Karun nuclear power plant, which is Iran's first nuclear power facility, designed and built domestically, is gearing up. For the second phase of construction, the EY chief pointed out that foreign contractors, due to enormous pressure from the West, were unable to meet their obligations to build the nuclear power plants, leading to the projects being put on hold. Nevertheless, Iran chose to push forward with the power plant's construction, leveraging its domestic resources and capabilities. During his visit to Khuzestan province, to monitor the project's progress, Islami stated on Thursday that Iran is utilizing nuclear technology products in 150 major industrial complexes. He elaborated that the EOI manufactures tools that are utilized not only in the nuclear industry but also in other critical sectors such as oil, gas, and petrochemicals. Mohammad Islami, the head of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran has announced that Iranian scientists have made significant advancements in heavy water technology despite facing opposition. Islami stated at a specialized seminar on the role of radiopharmaceuticals in cancer diagnosis and treatment on Thursday that adversaries had launched a vigorous campaign against Iran's peaceful activities in the heavy water sector intending to prevent Iran from being active in this area. Despite Western pressure, he said, Iran managed to progress in achieving heavy water and its derivatives. The Iranian atomic chief emphasized that heavy water is a crucial gateway in the process of molecular and atomic engineering. He said that the derivatives of heavy water could lead to significant accomplishments in the health and industrial sectors. He added that these adversaries do not want Iran to develop strategic scientific and technical capacities to become one of the world powers. Slami further stated that Iran possesses all the capacities of the nuclear fuel cycle and with the scientific, research, and industrial capacities that have been developed, they are contributing to human health. He mentioned that they have supplied 50 types of radio pharmaceuticals to medical centers for diagnosis, relief, and treatment. A few days prior, the Iranian nuclear chief expressed that the country aims to attract an investment of $50 billion in its nuclear sector over the next 15 years. He elaborated that the advancement of nuclear technology can enhance all aspects of people's daily lives, including health, food, medicine, agriculture, industry, and energy. The United Nations nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, has reported that Iran's enriched uranium stockpile has exceeded the limit set in the 2015 nuclear deal by more than 18 times. The IEA estimated that as of last year, Iran's total enriched uranium stockpile was 3,809.3 kilograms. The report further noted that Iran continues to enrich uranium beyond the 3.67% limit set in the agreement. A diplomatic source noted that the amount of uranium enriched to 60% now exceeds the IAEA's significant quantity threshold, which is an approximate amount beyond which the possibility of manufacturing a nuclear explosive cannot be ruled out. In a separate report released on the same day, the IAEA reiterated that it still had unresolved questions regarding previously undeclared nuclear material at three sites namely Maravan, Varamin, and Torkuzabad. Tehran has refuted allegations of undeclared nuclear activities at its sites.